Good morning, Jill here with Hillbilly Jilly's Garden. Recipes, canning, a little bit of everything. We are washing off our bell peppers, getting ready to uh, vacuum pack them for the freezer. We'll update you shortly. We're slicing up our bells. We're gonna get ready to vacuum pack them and we're gonna slice them in slices to where we can either dice them for spaghetti sauce or we can fry them up for fajitas or put them in sloppy joe mix. Um, you want to be sure and take out the membrane and take out the seeds. It's very important. I've sliced my bell peppers quite thick because um, they will deteriorate a little bit in the freezer. So I wanted them to have enough meat on them. This is uh, what I have left and you can guess what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to harvest the seeds uh, and then some of the meat and some of the membrane is going to go to Miss Chicken and then the rest of it is going to go to my compost bin. We still have quite a bit to go, as you can see here. Uh, quite a few bell peppers. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this uh, bowl of green peppers and I'm gonna put it in the freezer for about an hour. Give it a little flash freeze before we vacuum seal it. Then we'll vacuum seal it and we'll plop it back in the freezer and we will be enjoying bell peppers throughout the year for all kinds of things. Since my seeds are so small, I'm going to leave them to dry out on the membrane and I'll let them sit out a couple of days and then I'll get ready uh, to put them up in uh, some freezer bags or I've got some little seed saver bags and they'll be dried out and they'll be ready for next year. Okay, we have flash frozen our uh, bell pepper slices. We're getting ready to vacuum pack them so we can put them in the freezer and save them for our all year for whatever recipes we want. So let's get going. We invested in a food saver vacuum packer a couple of years ago and we use this for various things. Uh, my husband's also a, a barbecue pit master and he's going to be doing a, a barbecue brisket video here real soon and some ribs. We're gonna give you some, some secrets, so stay tuned for that. But right now, we're getting our bell peppers ready uh, to vacuum seal and we're going to freeze them for the season. We are using the small size bags because uh, between just the two of us and our family, that's exactly what we need for a meal. We don't want to do bigger size bags where we may open them up and then uh, let the rest of them go while we're cooking. So be sure when you do your vacuum packing and your freezing that you take your portion size into consideration so that you're not going to waste whatever it is that you're freezing. Here's our first pack. He's waiting on it to release. And then we'll start on our second pack. And there you have it. That is our bell peppers for the season that we're going to use for spaghetti sauces, sloppy joe, fajitas, anything that might call for a bell pepper recipe. I'd like to note that uh, bell peppers are one of the things that you do not have to blanch before you do the flash freeze and the uh, vacuum pack. We did do our squash and zucchini the same way. We did have to blanch those, um, and they will uh, last us throughout the year as well. So we are very excited about all the vegetables that we've gotten from our garden. Our garden is about a thousand square feet, and uh, we have gotten tons of things to can, tons of things to freeze, and we want to share all of this with you. folks here's what we've done so far we have gotten about uh, eight bags of bell pepper uh, vacuum seal that we're going to put in the freezer and you can see we got quite a bit more to go please stay tuned uh, we're going to be doing a stuffed bell pepper uh, recipe tonight with some of our other bells that we've picked out and uh, we are very excited about our harvest get out there and garden get some good stuff in your belly take care if you like our channel please subscribe thank you for watching